Now, by nature, I'm not a cynical person. Not me. No, no. I like to believe that most people aren't motivated primarily by their own self-interest, that they carry themselves with a degree of integrity and sincerity in, in most things they do. You know, most people. Well, about a week ago, six former employees of the Washington football team met with a Congressional Oversight Committee for a roundtable discussion about misconduct they were subjected to while employed with the organization. Now, if you remember, it got pretty graphic with new allegations being leveled at owner Dan Snyder, who promptly denied them all. Well, the roundtable must have had an effect on committee members because they sent a letter to NFL corporate requesting the release of the findings of the investigation into the Washington commander's workplace environment. And by the way, they want them by February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day! Y'all remember when there was always that one kid in class who never got anything for Valentine's Day? Yeah, they called him Reese Waters. Well, that, that is exactly what this committee is about to relive. No cards, no candy, no investigation discoveries. Well, the NFL has already shared 80,000 pages of documentation with them, but here's what hasn't been received. The written report of the findings of the law firm brought in to carry out the probe. Why? Because there isn't one. Personally, I think a written report would be kind of a vital part of any investigation of this magnitude, but, you know, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell must not. He accepted an oral presentation, a lecture, if you will. Now, according to a statement released Friday by Illinois Representative Raja Krishnamoorthy, the committee has documents that show the firm was hired to provide a written report, but the NFL changed that plan. Now, a cynical person might think that the presentation was given orally, so, you know, there wouldn't be any written records for the curious to read. Well, it's a good thing I'm I'm not one of those people. That is good. It's reported there are 650,000 emails and documents related to the investigation, but the NFL and the team agreed not to share any privileged documents or information obtained during the investigation without the consent of the other, also known as the most important stuff. But the NFL did withdraw from the agreement, allowing both to claim that without the other's consent, they can't release anything to the committee. And just a few hours ago, the NFL released a letter pointing their finger at Snyder and company for the slow drip of documents that have come out. Now, a cynical person might think that, you know, this is a little like the league and the team are trying to run game, working an angle to keep information private. It is a, it's a good thing. I'm not one of those people. And it was announced yesterday that Dan Snyder's hired an independent investigative team to look at the allegations raised against him last week, the allegations he denies. So the alleged wants to investigate himself, and I'm sure the team's findings will be rock solid because I'm not a cynical person. If I was, I might be a little insulted. I might want to take a page from my mother and ask, do we look like Boo Boo the Fool? But it looks like I won't have to. Because shortly after the commander's announcement, Roger Goodell announced that the league will be handling the investigation, not the team. And boy, that is, that is good news, because uh, I'm confident we'll get to hear the results this time. You know why I'm confident, right? Because I'm, I'm not, you know, yes, yes, you got it. So you cynics out there can just relax. I'm confident that everything will be just fine in the end. Because isn't it always with this organization?